Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture on Ailey Wiesel's memoir, Night. This lecture aims to give some introductory notes on Ailey Wiesel's memoir, Night. Night is a memoir by Ailey Wiesel based on his Holocaust experience in the Nazi concentration camp at Auschwitz and Buchenwald in 1944 to 1945, that is, towards the end of the Second World War. This memoir was translated into French and English first, and then it was later translated into 30 languages. It is being considered as one of the bedrocks of Holocaust literature. Night is a part of trilogy and it was followed by another two books, Dawn and then by Day. So it is a trilogy. Night is the first part of the trilogy. And it is the bedrock of Holocaust literature. Holocaust, the word Holocaust refers to the persecutions and mass killing of millions of Jews during the Second World War. Actually, the word Holocaust comes from ancient Greek term, which means burnt offering. Even before the Second World War, the word was used to describe the death of a large group of people. But since 1945, it has become synonymous with the mass killing of the European Jews during World War II. Ailey Wiesel was born in Sigurd, Romania on September 30th, 1928. Sigurd is the name of the town, his birthplace. After surviving the Nazi concentration camps, Wiesel vowed never to write about his horrific experiences at the concentration camps. But eventually, he changed his mind and began to write his Holocaust experience in his literary writings. He wrote this book, this memoir, in 1955. He got Nobel Prize in 1986. In Sigurd, Ailey Wiesel lived with his, with his mother, Sarah, his father, Sloma, his older sister, Hilda and B, and his younger sister, Zephora. You can look at this picture. This is Ailey Wiesel's house. This photograph is Ailey Wiesel's house and the kid, the child is his little sister Zipporah. She was seven years old at that time. The memoir begins in Sigurd, Transylvania, that is Romania afterwards in 1940 it has been called Romania. Before that, it was Transylvania. During the early years of World War II, Sigurd remained relatively unaffected by the war. The Jews in Sigurd believed that they would be safe from the persecution that Jews in Germany and Poland suffered. Jews were living in every country during World War I and II. Approximately 9 million Jews were in Europe. Poland and Soviet Union had the largest population. Jews could be found in all walks of life. Farmers, factory, workers, business people, doctors, teachers and craftsmen. In this slide you could see 
picture of wooden synagogue this is the prayer house of jewish people actually it is in sigat which is the native town of elivizan so first of all before entering into the memoir we should know what is anti semitism anti semitism is hatred towards jews that is the discrimination and prejudice against jews jews have faced such kind of prejudice and discrimination for over 2000 years Jews were scapegoats for many problems. For example, people blamed Jews for the Black Death that killed thousands in Europe during the Middle Ages. Here in this picture, you could see uh, the people at concentration camps, how they are lying in the bunks, that is congestedly how they are lying in the bunks of concentration camps. Uh, here uh, you could see uh, Eli Wiesel. Eli Wiesel, he is in the second row of, he is in the second row of bunks. <coughs> This is what the horrific condition of Jews at the concentration camps. So this memoir exposes how Eli Wiesel struggles at the concentration camp. and how he struggles to maintain his faith in god and faith in humanity so in the next lecture we could see the whole summary and details of his memoir night